into the video, I want to tell you guys about my new Patreon that I just started, where you can donate money at any amount to help save the channel, and to also help build the quality of my videos for you, loyal fans. I will leave a link in the bio down below, in the description down below for more info. Click on the link and donate at any amount that you want that will help me and you build a better channel, and also save the channel at that being as well. Now, enjoy the video you guys, peace out. Reaction Action Nation here with the World of Devin segment, and today I am here to fuck up again, just like Blast Miss HD would say, to fuck up again, because I am here to watch the five most haunting selfies posters ever made with eerie explanations that you need to hear, and this is by Top 5 Unknown. I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to check out their video, and let's get right into this reaction video, you guys. Do me a favor, hit that like button down below, hit that subscribe button, also hit that bell for my notification for me, I'll come to you. Also, let me know what you want me to ask next, and I got you found hashtag R-A-N, right, and I'll put a disclaimer before this video starts up, of course. Also, hit my Patreon if you want to donate anything, and I really appreciate it. It doesn't matter, and it doesn't matter the price. As long as you donate, it will really, uh, <laughs> I will really appreciate it. All right, you guys, let's get into re this reaction video, though. Let's go. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> selfies, man. Disturbing selfies? Number five. Mm -hmm. In July of 2011, a 17-year-old boy named Tyler Hadley mm -hmm. bludgeoned his parents to death with a hammer simply because he wanted to have a house party, which they strictly would not allow. After cleaning up the couple's blood for over three hours, he began inviting over 60 guests to his home. But little did his guests know, his parents' dead bodies were stashed away in wow. an upstairs closet. According to family, Hadley was just 15 years old when his parents began to see sudden and extreme changes in his behavior. According to his aunt, around age 15, he began skipping I'm school. I'm going to be stepping in and out of this reaction, you guys, because I got to check on something, so forgive drugs. me. But I am By watching. the time Tyler had turned 17, his parents claimed that they had tried everything to get him back on the right path, including therapy, antidepressants, mental health evaluations, and a substance abuse program, though nothing ever changed. Eventually, Tyler came home drunk from a party. For this, his parents took away his phone and car until further notice. According to Tyler's aunt, he apparently felt that this was far too much and told his mom that he wanted to kill her. Wow. His aunt said that she didn't believe he would ever actually go through with it. It simply seemed as though he was extremely angered by the fact that he was being punished, combined with the fact that he was blackout drunk. Just a week before the house party that Tyler wanted to have, his parents took him to a family reunion located near a cabin in Georgia. Members of his family said he looked completely normal and seemed as though he was doing great, making the impending death of wow. his parents seem much more bizarre. On the day of the murders, Tyler posted an invitation to Facebook about the party he was hosting, claiming that his parents had gone away to Orlando, Florida for the weekend. According to Tyler's aunt, this wasn't the case at all, and most of the people that he invited to the party weren't even his friends. <laughs> During the party, Tyler pulled his best friend, Michael Mandel, aside, insisting that he had something important to tell him. The two left the house and spoke on the front lawn, where Tyler informed him that he had killed his parents. According to Michael, he was at first in disbelief, but Tyler then told him, Mike, look at the driveway. All the cars are there. I killed my parents. After this, Michael found blood by a computer desk, as well as blood outside of Tyler's parents' doorway, though he assumed that he was simply playing a prank on him. To this, Michael insisted that he wanted to see their dead bodies in order to believe it. Tyler took him to his parents' bedroom and insisted that Michael check for himself, telling him that they were stored away in the closet. Michael opened the door, and sure enough, there they were. After making this discovery, Michael stayed at the party just a few more hours. According to Michael, if you just discovered that your best friend was a serial killer, you certainly wouldn't leave the party right away. Michael even took yeah. a photo with Tyler, yeah. stating that he knew this would be the last time that he saw him. Following this, just a few hours later, Michael phoned police. Tyler was then taken into custody and given two life sentences without the possibility of parole. Ouch. Number four. 
In May of 2017, an 18-year-old Maxwell Morton from Pennsylvania shot his friend then took a photo with his lifeless body. Maxwell, who is wow. now 19, told the judge at his sentencing that he didn't want to be remembered as a savage, stating that the death of his friend was definitely, quote, messed up. He Why would you do it? Sometimes sorry isn't enough for people, but that's all I have to give. Morton was then convicted of third-degree murder. This because he claims that the two were playing with a handgun that neither of them knew was loaded. He then pointed it at his friend and pulled the trigger. He claims that he took the photo to document what had happened and intended to immediately kill himself from the guilt, stating that he was one of his best friends. According to Max, the two were pretending to be rappers at the time of the incident. He says that the clip wasn't in the gun, a fact that hasn't been confirmed by police, and that he then pulled the trigger and the gun went off. Wow. However, another teen in the area claims that Maxwell had actually bragged about the killings while the two of them were playing video games together, claiming that he, quote, got his first body. The friend says that he didn't believe him at first until he saw the photo he had taken off his friend's body. According to Maxwell's defense attorney, the court was seeking to put Maxwell away for 40 years, though he argued that if Maxwell hadn't taken that photo and had instead simply phoned police, he would likely face no prison time whatsoever. Regardless, due to Maxwell's two additional arrests involving a violent crime, as well as the photo, Maxwell was sentenced to 15 to 30 years in prison. Number 3 Shocking photos have recently been made public, showing a nurse who is believed to have murdered dozens of patients, with the photo showing her posing with a dead woman. The nurse named Daniela Poggiala was arrested in October of 2014, after evidence was found indicating that she was involved in the deaths of at least 38 patients, with prosecutors labeling the deaths of most of these individuals as highly suspicious. In fact, an autopsy on one of the individuals, a 78-year-old woman, showed abnormally high levels of potassium chloride in her system, which is an essential vitamin. Though when taken in large doses, potassium chloride can lead to abnormal heart rhythms and even death. This is actually the compound given to death row inmates, though in much higher doses. According to police, they have reason to believe that Daniela killed patients for pleasure, often wow. taking out the most annoying ones so that she didn't have to deal with it. According to another nurse that worked with Daniela, she was forced into helping Daniela take the photos and expressed severe discomfort in doing so. According to this worker, who remains unnamed, Daniela was known for giving laxatives to patients, strictly to make it difficult for the nurses on the next shift. Because of this nurse's prior knowledge about the offenses, both she and Daniela have been arrested and are awaiting trial for their crimes. Wow. Number two. Dennis Rader, also known as the BTK Killer, is an American serial killer most well known for his bizarre means of murdering his victims, as well as his sexual fetish of wearing his female victims' underwear, later posing okay. in photos with them before dumping their bodies. He's known to have killed at least 10 victims, 9 of whom were female and 1 male. His title of BTK originated from messages he left on or near his victims, with BTK meaning beat, torture, kill. All of Dennis's known victims resided in Kansas. At the moment, there's only one known victim who actually escaped being captured by it, a 63-year-old woman by the name of Anna Williams. In 1979, Dennis claims to have waited outside of her house for hours, expecting her to arrive home, though she never did. Instead, she spent the night out with friends. This angered Dennis deeply, causing him to leave her home and never return. Dennis was also known to have stalked a number of women, though there's no evidence suggesting that he had any intent to kill them. Of these women, one successfully filed a restraining order, while the others simply moved away. In addition to his murders, Dennis is also well known for the games he played with police, taunting them with letters and messages for over 30 years. Wow. In these messages, he would include vague clues about himself, as well as occasionally including photos of his victims, claiming responsibility for their deaths. In fact, it was one of these letters that led to his eventual arrest. By 2004, it had been over 12 years since Dennis's last letter was received by police. The case of the BTK killer had run cold. However, seemingly out of nowhere, letters began coming in again. These letters, in combination with modern technology which helped determine their origin, led to the arrest of Dennis in 2005. Following this, he was given 10 life sentences wow, in prison. He's currently 72 years old and resides in the El Dorado Correctional Facility. Hmm. Number one. Wow. In 2014, Angela Wrightson was a 40-year-old alcoholic who was known for having little, if any, friends. She often invited strangers or passers-by into her home simply for conversation and a drink. 
In fact, it was this exact action that ultimately led to her death. Angela would allowing unmarried oh, children to drink or smoke in her presence, causing her to be quite popular with the teenage crowd. In December of 2014, two girls aged 13 and 14 visited Angela at her home, asking that she buy them alcohol. Angela considered the girls friends and immediately agreed. However, within the next handful of hours, Angela would suffer more than 100 individual injuries, including being beaten, stabbed, then tortured with a wooden stick. During these attacks and following these attacks, the girls posted photos of themselves to Snapchat, a decision which ultimately led to their arrest. After the two girls were arrested, they were both determined to be severely mentally ill, and both of them attempted to end their lives numerous times throughout the course of the trial, with the older girl even beating her head repeatedly into a brick wall. The girls have yet to be sentenced, though the judge has stated that the minimum amount of time that they'll receive is 12 years. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to click that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to keep updated with our videos. That was a creepy video, you guys. I uh, kept stepping out because I was kind of nervous to watch it. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, this gives me the heebie-jeebies, you know? Oh, gosh. Whew. Anyway, that was my reaction to the five most, the five most haunting selfies po posters ever made with eerie explanations that you need to hear that I did not need to hear. And that was by Top 5 I Know. And please go follow them and subscribe. I will be shutting down this video now because I am creeped out and I'm going to go watch something funny now because I need to get this off my mind. Do me a favor, hit that like button down below, hit that subscribe button, also hit that bell for my notification when it comes to you. Also, let me know what's true with you guys, you pound match, I Motor mouth. I'll see you guys in the next reaction. Peace out.